So we actually go through one of these a day. Another one. Hi! Where's your puppy gone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Cute. So, all of these horses get the treadmill mix because they all go on the treadmills. They're all training the races. So, some of the horses are just getting used to the, um, the treadmill mix and it's not that tasty so. We've got the treadmill mixing first. And then the tasty stuff is in treats on the top. And yeah, only two of these horses get this. And a couple of biscuits. And there's Missy. They love stealing food. I feel like it's the highlight of their day. I mean, it's the exact same food for eating, but food's better when it's not yours, isn't it? Most people in hostels would say. These are the transit horses and we get new ones every couple days. Some of them stay for, you know, a night, some of them stay for a couple nights. Um, yeah. And we also have here giant spider. So this is um, called a bush spider. I don't know the true technical name, but their webs are really, really sticky. Look at that, it doesn't break. There's the other side of them. Yeah. the other two. They're just gonna get some biscuits and <laughs> we're gonna check their water. <laughs> oh, look. 
look at his snoot. Oh, cute. Sometimes feel like meals on wheels for the horses. that you get when you come to Australia for like a year. Um, I think it cost about $400 or something, which is like £200 or something. But you get that online and as long as you don't have like a criminal history, um, anything bad on your records, then you'll be able to come. Um, yeah, so if you come here, you get to work here for the same employer up to six months or you can work with loads of different employers um, and then if you want to stay for a second year you have to do 88 days of farm work or rural regional work um, so yeah i before i got to this farm i was in cans and like everyone else all the other backpackers i was trying to find a hospitality job because Cairns is, you know, on the rural list and you can, you know, work in a pub and that'll count. So while I was there, I worked on my CV and I printed out like 80 copies of my CV. And at the hostel I was staying at and at the library where I was working on my CV printing out, everyone else was doing the exact same thing. Like, it was ridiculous. And I walked around the town and I went to every single pub, every restaurant, ho hostels, hotels, asking for work, handing out my CV. And as soon as I'd hand in my CV, they, there'd be people behind me coming in, handing in their CV. Um, and then the, you know, the staff and stuff would be like, you do realize it's like the 10th CV we've had today. And you're just like, huh. Um, yeah, so it was really, really difficult to get a job. I didn't get any reply from anyone, like, it was just awful. Um, so then I posted on Facebook, on 88 Days, Backpackers, all these different jobs for Australia, Australian, Australia, like the backpackers, and basically just said, you know, look at the farm work and stuff. And I did, I managed to get a couple of responses, a couple of great offers. Um, yeah, I had the options between working with uh, cows or go to a lambing season. Um, and then there was a stud farm. So 
I said I could work for the stud farm because um, it was closest to me. So I flew from Cannes to Brisbane, which cost me three hundred and fifty dollars. And then you know, one of my favourite things of like coming here from the hostels was having um, my own bedroom, which cost like seventy dollars. Having a double bed. And then like, the, <laughs> it's so my nice bosses came and as much as I love hostels, Uber, like and then we drove for half. You just don't before. you don't get the right sleep at all. Like especially when you're sharing a room with so many people, like they're coming in and out all night and coming back from the clubs, being very drunk. Um, and obviously when they're drunk, they're quite inconsiderate. You know, it'll be free, yeah. Like especially when you're sharing a room with so many people, like they're coming in and out all night and coming back from the clubs, being very drunk. Um, and obviously when they're drunk, they're quite inconsiderate. You know, it'll be 3 a.m. and someone's just go back to the club, turning the light on, getting changed, laughing away, getting into bed, opening up a couple of packets of crisps, <laughs> bringing girls back. <laughs> Honestly, did not sleep. I haven't, before here, I haven't slept properly for months. It's just every night, you just. <laughs> get no sleep and then some people are shift workers and like they get up in the middle of the night to go to work or they get up pretty early in the morning to go to work and it's yeah it's pretty chaotic um so yeah it's been quite nice to have my own space again and you know have the luxuries of your own kitchen where you can leave out stuff and it's not gonna get stolen that's another great thing or just you know my actual stuff just not having to worry about it being stolen has been really nice. Um, yeah, and just cooking up stuff and make, doing meal prep and all of that's been really good. Um, yeah, it is nice. And then, work for your first year, and you um, you got here and you want to save for another year, you do your, your three months of farm work, 18 days. And then once you've done that, you can apply for your second year and yeah, in your second year you have to do six months of farm work, which is pretty, pretty, pretty intense. I mean, a lot of people do the fruit picking and stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think I'd probably try it, but I don't know if I'd actually enjoy it. I'd much rather work with animals. Um, but if you're British, I think they are changing the rules. Um, at the end of this month, which would be the end of May, um, or next month, and basically there's a big trade deal going on, which means uh, British people won't have to do V88 days anymore, and Australians will be able to come to the UK and spend longer there and have work, like more working rights and stuff. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, be good. Oh, yeah. Also, being here has been really cool. Like, I've met. <laughs> it's pretty real. I mean, most of the time, I don't really see my boss in the day. Like, I might speak to her maybe once for about two seconds, and then pretty much by myself the rest of the day, just not talking to anyone. I talk to the horses, and maybe myself and my frogs, but that's about it. Um, so it does get quite tough and very lonely and isolating. Again, especially coming from hostels where you're always around people 24-7 to suddenly being pretty much alone all the time. Yeah, you know, I've got to do online shops and stuff for my groceries and I have, it gets quite tough when you haven't like spoken, had like a proper conversation with someone for a long time. And it's very mentally challenging. Um, so yeah, I've definitely been trying to keep myself occupied with other things like painting and working on my YouTube videos and stuff and sort of planning what I'm going to be doing for the future um, which is good and definitely learning to live for myself a lot more um, but yeah I kind of got sick of that the other weekend and decided I was going to walk to the pub which took me an hour to walk there and I actually I made quite a few really nice friends and Every weekend I've been going back, hanging out with them. Um, so yeah, it's been really nice. I mean, this weekend that's just gone, I've just been to my friend's house and yeah, I had a lovely time. Um, yeah, been learning how to do uh, polo cross. 
and yeah, it's nice. <laughs> yeah, I definitely look forward to the weekends and my spare time. So I've just had my weekly shop delivered and I, I ordered, I needed some more milk and this arrived. I just, I'm so annoyed, like this is what I normally get. And <laughs> um, yeah, don't think that's really gonna last me that long, but it's so cute, it's so tiny. Um, yeah. So, this is my week's shop um quite a few people have asked me what i do for like my dinners and stuff so and if i'm eating healthy or not but yeah this is typically what i have so every night i usually have like a ready meal so here they are this is this week's choices for me which is some stir fries a curry lemon chicken a pizza Pad Thai spaghetti bolognese. Um, yeah, and then every morning I have oats with blueberries, and then with my with my um, frozen meals I sometimes have it with either mash, um, chips, or and also some frozen vegetables that I have already in the freezer. Uh, Lunch times I usually have some fruit and a tuna sandwich or eggs on sorry uh fried eggs on toast um or avocado on toast um yeah and then i also had to buy some <laughs> super glue because my shoes keep breaking um yeah i've well these ones aren't too bad but because of my job I literally wear them all day every day like doing crazy stuff so yeah this shoe which i literally bought before i came here some nikes broken They're just coming off of the seams and then i also bought these shoes two weeks ago for 70 dollars right and i was like oh these are perfect like they're just they're good boots you know great for working with horses thought they'd be good quality but no <laughs> not good like I am so annoyed by this and for the price as well like look at that but it's just I'm really annoyed about that so yeah I'm hoping the glue is gonna fix it and then I also accidentally bumped um, my buggy so I'm gonna try and glue the piece back on <laughs> yeah but anyway all of this came to a hundred and fourteen dollars uh, fourteen dollars was for delivery and yeah I think overall that works out at about like 60 pounds for a weekly shop but yeah and then I also spend another $15 or so on wine a week so yeah I got this and it's actually so pretty Ooh. but yeah